Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this video, I'd like to show you how to do uh, a couple different ways to finish our, uh, our our vessel, our pressure vessel that goes along with our pressure plate that we've made modifications to, and ultimately we're going to put all this together into an assembly. So what we've done right now, and let me show you what we've done. Of course, we've did our basic extrude, our base cut, and our lip cut with a threaded uh, our, our annotation feature, our cosmetic thread. And now what we want to do is be able to build something below that. So let's do this. There's a couple different things we can do. I'm going to just do a regular boss extrude, and then we'll shell it out and show you how that looks. And we're going to do a revolve feature, which is kind of fun to do, and show you how that works. We haven't done any revolve features yet, so yeah, I'm looking forward to showing that to you. What we have to do with this, and what we want to do, is we want to be able to build a uh, structure that's below this. We're going to add material down here, and I'm going to go ahead and shell that out because it uh, provides a little bit more flexibility to do it that way, especially if you have a shape that's a little bit on the complicated side. What we have to do, and I'll show you what, it, what it's like if we were to do if we were to ignore that. If we want to build uh, some sort of feature in the bottom of that, if we were to go to sketch and convert the entity and take the, the edge of that, and use that as a, as a basis to, to do an extrude from. If we go to features, go to extrude boss base and just create a cylinder that goes down, go to green check mark and do what we would usually do by clicking on this face and going to shell and make that eight millimeters wide. Oh, oh, it doesn't like that. See what it's doing is it's going down here eight millimeters, but it's having difficulty up here and trying to get this to work up here. It's going around the corner up here because that's four millimeters wide. It's intersecting with itself and it's just plain ugly. So let's do this. What we have to do is we have to rearrange the furniture on this and uh, put our lip, our lip cut with our thread of our, our, our um, annotation feature, our cosmetic thread just after that. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to move that below the boss extrude. I'm going to just call this one vessel because the order does matter here. Now we're going to take that lip cut and actually hide that for a little bit by taking a rollback bar and rolling it on top of that. So now we can do that uh, that shell. So go to the shell feature. We're going to click in this space. It's going to be eight millimeters because that's the same thickness as the, as it is up here. We go to green check mark. Now it's in pretty good shape. So if we uh, go to the section view, a section view, and click in that, we can see that it's a consistent thickness all the way around. Now having a pressure vessel with a straight edge down here is asking for trouble. If it's really going to be pressurized, you probably want to have something in there like maybe a fillet. But uh, I'm going to let you do something like that and uh, let you put in those features if you like. So we're going to call that our vessel shell. And before that, before I show you some uh, different ways of doing this, uh, doing this, by using a revolve feature, by using a revolve boss base, we're going to go ahead and do uh, just a little bit of a modification on the vessel itself. If you right click on that, there is an option in here to give it a draft angle. A one degree draft angle, we can't really see what it's doing, but maybe a 10 degree is a little bit more dramatic. And instead of 150 millimeters, maybe we can go out a little, a little bit further than that. And actually, 10 degrees is probably a little bit too much. Maybe 5 or 6 degrees would be good. And once you do that, go to the green check mark. Now you have a vessel that's relatively thick. And it'll, again, the last thing you want to do is go to lip cut, and there you have a vessel. All right, that's pretty fun. Let's go ahead and erase those things, and let's do a revolve feature. So we're going to do a revolve boss base. So we're going to take our vessel, vessel cut, and we're going to keep our lip cut, and go ahead and delete these. Take our sketch 14, we're going to delete that too. I just show you a different uh, way of doing it. It's just an alternative to that. So this one we want to do a revolve boss base. And a uh, revolve boss base involves a couple different uh, elements, sketch entities. If you go to the front plane, we're going to go to normal too, and I'm going to show you some of these. Uh, the first one is going to be, if you go to sketch, we're going to do a center line right down the middle. So what we have to do is we have to define a, uh, a line that's going to revolve around. So what we're going to do is kind of like a mirror function in a way where we're going to do put our geometry, our sketch geometry on one side and then we're going to revolve it around so that it appears on all sides. Now well, maybe we make that about 300 uh, millimeters and now we need to begin to sketch. So we're going to, and we need to have enclosed geometry all the way from that um, that center line out over here to some elements out here and eventually back to our center line again. So I'm going to start with a line right here at that corner, go to that corner, and maybe an arc on top. So I'm going to go to the arc command, 
and drop that in here. Maybe something like that. If we wanted to, we can make these two elements in here. Uh, make this tangent to each other. Might be kind of a weird looking vessel. But, we can make it in a manner that you see fit. And we're going to complete that by drawing a line down here, making sure that this line is horizontal. And then we're going to have to re uh, continue to define it. So we're going to take these two elements, make this tangent to each other, maybe an angle in here would be another way to define it, maybe 112 degrees, maybe 120 degrees. And it's still not black, so let's go ahead and do this. It's a, it's an appropriate thing to do to grab one of these, uh, the end points of a line, a point in here, and start yanking and cranking on that thing to see what we need to do to, to finish this up. So maybe a radius in here would work, or perhaps a distance relationship from that point to that uh, center line would work too. Either way, you see it turns black. We're going to delete that and maybe put a radius in this. That'll also work. So we'll make that 90, and it uh, looks like it's in pretty good shape. All right, finally, features. Revolve boss space. It says this sketch is currently open. An on thin revolution requires a closed sketch, and what it's suggesting is it's going to put a solid lines down here. Solid line down where our center line is. Which is okay, because we uh, it's not going to overwrite our center line. It's going to be right on top of it. We have a portion of our center line out here. If we needed to reselect that later, it'll be there. So we're going to go to yes. It revolves out around. It looks like a large urn, a pressure vessel. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and rename this. We'll call this our vessel revolve. Instead of revolve through, just plain old do. Uh, just just call it revolve. And then uh, we're going to put a look cut after that. And the reason we're going to do that, we're going to take a rollback bar and put just in, put it just in front of that, is we're going to take uh, the shell feature and do just like we did with the other feature where we put that in. And click on that face, make it eight millimeters, so we don't have a conflict with that. And just to see what that looks like, go to our section view. That gets cut open. Actually, it kind of looks nice. I really like the the way that looks. And our last thing we want to undo, uh, reveal over here is our lip cut. There you have it. We'll call that our vessel shell. Just like we called it last time. Capitalize that. And it looks like we're all done. At least with the vessel. In the next video, I'll show you how to put those two together.